Welcome, dear friends. Before we dive into the heart of our discussion, pause for a moment to hit the subscribe button. Stay connected and enrich your spiritual journey with us. As the day breaks and the world awakens from its slumber, we are gifted with a new dawn, a fresh start, an opportunity to begin again. This is the magic of the early morning, a time when the world is still and we can hear the whisperings of our soul. In the Christian tradition, the early morning holds a special place. It is a time of quietude, of reflection and of prayer. The Bible tells us very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. This act of early morning prayer of seeking solace and communion with God at the break of dawn is a powerful practice that has been followed by countless Christians throughout the ages. And it is not just a ritual, it's a way to set the tone for the day. It's a moment to cleanse our minds of the previous day's worries and start anew with a clean slate. It's a chance to center ourselves, to find our balance before the day's demands pull us in different directions. This brings us to the concept of 5 a.m. motivation. It's an idea that has gained popularity in recent years, but its roots go deep into the Christian tradition. Waking up at 5 a.m. before the world stirs allows us to dedicate the first hours of the day to our spiritual growth. It's a time when we can focus on our relationship with God, on our prayers, on our gratitude, and on our hopes for the day ahead. Imagine starting every day with a heart full of hope, a mind at peace, and a spirit aligned with your higher purpose. That's the power of 5 a.m. motivation. It's not just about waking up early, it's about waking up to a richer, deeper, more meaningful life. With the first rays of the sun, we begin our journey into understanding the magic of 5 a.m. motivation. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment, said the renowned motivational speaker, Jim Rohn. As we delve into the practice of early morning prayer and the concept of 5 a.m. motivation, we cannot ignore the pivotal role of discipline. Waking up at the break of dawn before the world stirs and dedicating the first hours of the day to spiritual growth is a beautiful idea. But to translate this idea into reality, discipline is essential. The challenges of waking up early are real and many. The comfort of a warm bed, the allure of a few more minutes of sleep, the pull of nighttime distractions, all these can make it difficult to rise early. But discipline, the ability to control our impulses and stick to our commitments can help us overcome these challenges. When we discipline ourselves to go to bed early to resist the temptation of just one more episode or just one more scroll through social media, waking up early becomes more manageable. But discipline is not just about waking up early. It's about what we do with the time we've gained. It's about dedicating this time to prayer, to contemplation, to setting our intentions for the day, it's about making the most of these quiet, peaceful hours to nurture our relationship with God and align our spirit with our higher purpose. The benefits of discipline in this context go beyond spiritual growth. They spill over into personal development and overall well-being. A disciplined approach to early morning prayer can help us start our day with a clear mind, a calm heart, and a sense of purpose. It can set the tone for the rest of the day, helping us stay focused, balanced, and productive. In conclusion, discipline is the key to unlocking the full potential of early morning prayer. It is the bridge that connects the magic of the new dawn with the promise of a fulfilling, meaningful day. It is the foundation upon which the practice of 5 a.m. motivation stands. In the realm of early morning prayer, discipline is not a burden or a restriction, it's a tool a guide, a friend that helps us stay on the path and reap the rewards of our spiritual journey. As we journey back in time, it becomes clear that the tradition of early morning prayer has deep historical roots. In the earliest days of Christianity, the concept of starting the day with prayer was already ingrained. Early Christian communities living under the Roman Empire would rise before dawn to dedicate their first thoughts and actions to God. They understood the symbolic significance of the dawn, a fresh start, a new beginning, and they harnessed this symbolism in their spiritual practices. One of the earliest references to early morning prayer can be found in the Holy Scriptures itself. In the book of Psalms, David, the shepherd turned king, declares, in the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. 
This verse clearly illustrates the importance David, a man after God's own heart, placed on early morning devotion. Early church fathers like St. Augustine and St. John Chrysostom also emphasized the importance of early morning prayer. They saw it as a means of consecrating the day to God, of laying its cares and concerns at his feet before they could take root in the heart. As Christianity spread throughout the world, the tradition of early morning prayer evolved and took on different forms. In monastic communities, the day would often begin with the liturgy of the hours, a cycle of prayers observed at fixed times throughout the day, starting at dawn. This practice, also known as the divine office, has been a pillar of monastic life for centuries and continues to be observed today. In the Protestant Reformation of the 16th century, Martin Luther, a key figure in the movement, advocated for private devotion and prayer. He himself was known to rise early for prayer, often spending several hours in contemplation before the start of his day. His example set a precedent for many followers, emphasizing the personal, intimate nature of prayer. The Methodist movement in the 18th century England, led by John Wesley, also encouraged its followers to rise early for prayer. Wesley, known for his methodical approach to spiritual disciplines, believed that starting the day with prayer and scripture reading was vital for spiritual growth and maturity. Fast forward to the present day, and we find that the tradition of early morning prayer is alive and well. Christians around the world from different denominations and walks of life continue to start their day with prayer. They do so not out of obligation or ritualistic adherence, but out of a genuine desire to seek God and align their hearts with His at the start of each day. The echoes of these ancient practices resonate with us today as we seek to understand their significance in our modern lives. As we take a detour from the historical and spiritual aspects, let's delve into the science behind waking up early. Our bodies operate on a natural timekeeping system known as the circadian rhythm, a roughly 24-hour cycle that regulates our sleep-wake schedule. Waking up early aligns with our body's natural rhythm, allowing us to synchronize with the Earth's rotation and the cycle of daylight and darkness. This alignment can have profound effects on our health and well-being. Indeed, research has shown that early risers often report better mood and higher levels of satisfaction with life. One reason for this could be the impact of early rising on our mental health. The quiet hours of the morning provide a peaceful time for reflection and mindfulness, which can reduce stress and anxiety. Additionally, the act of rising early can boost cognitive function. According to the American Psychological Association, our brains are most alert approximately two, four hours after we wake up. So an early start can lead to more productive, cognitively demanding activities like problem solving and decision making. Speaking of productivity, numerous studies have found a correlation between early rising and productivity. A study published in the Journal of Applied Social Psychology found that morning people are more proactive than their night owl counterparts. They are more likely to anticipate problems and try to minimize them, a trait that's linked to better job performance, greater career success, and higher wages. Understanding the science behind waking up early can motivate us to embrace the practice of early morning prayer. It's not just about discipline or tradition. It's about aligning our bodies and minds with the natural rhythms of the world around us. It's about tapping into the silence of the early morning to nurture our spiritual lives and boost our productivity. To rise early is to gift ourselves with time, time for introspection, time for prayer, and time to prepare for the day ahead. Beyond the veil of history lies the spiritual significance of early morning prayer. As the sun yawns awake, painting the sky with hues of red and gold, the world is still. The silence is profound, punctuated only by the gentle whispers of the wind and the distant chorus of birds greeting the dawn. It is in this quietude that we find the first spiritual reason for early morning prayer, peace. In the hush of dawn, distractions are few and far between. The world is on pause, in a state of transition between the mystery of night and the promise of day. It is a time of stillness that allows us to quiet our minds, to step away from the clamor and chaos of daily life. This tranquility presents us with a beautiful opportunity to connect with God, to pour out our hearts and listen for His voice in the silence. As the dawn breaks, so does the chance for a fresh start. This is the second spiritual reason for early morning prayer. 
Each sunrise is a reminder of God's merciful nature, of his promise that his mercies are new every morning. When we rise before the world awakens, we're greeted not only by the freshness of a new day, but also by the freshness of God's grace. We're offered a clean slate, a chance to start anew, and what better way to seize this opportunity than by dedicating the first moments of the day to prayer. The third spiritual reason for early morning prayer is connection. There is something powerfully intimate about conversing with God while the world is still asleep. It's like having a private audience with the creator of the universe, a sacred time where we can truly be ourselves, where we can express our deepest fears, hopes, and dreams. This connection is further strengthened by the awareness that we're part of a global community of believers who are also rising early to pray, creating a sense of unity and fellowship that transcends geographical boundaries. By praying in the early morning, we're also following in the footsteps of Jesus Christ, who often rose before dawn to pray in solitude. This act of emulating Christ not only brings us closer to him, but also helps us cultivate the virtues of discipline and self-sacrifice, virtues that are essential for spiritual growth. Finally, early morning prayer sets the tone for the day ahead. It equips us with spiritual armor, preparing us to face whatever challenges the day may bring. It gives us a sense of purpose and direction, a spiritual compass that guides us through the day. In the silence of the morning, we find a unique connection with the divine setting the tone for the day ahead. Early morning prayer, therefore, isn't just a ritual. It's a spiritual discipline that nurtures our relationship with God, enriches our faith and transforms our lives. So rise and shine, dear friends, for a magical experience of 5 a.m. motivation awaits. Early morning prayer isn't exclusive to Christianity. In fact, it's a practice that transcends religious boundaries, serving as a common thread that binds us in our collective pursuit of spiritual growth. Let's delve deeper into the role of early morning prayer in different religions. In Islam, the Fajr prayer is performed before sunrise. This prayer is considered the most important of the five daily prayers, as it symbolizes the start of the day with the remembrance of God. Similarly, in Hinduism, the Brahma Muhurta, which is approximately two hours before sunrise, is considered the most auspicious time for prayer and meditation. Buddhists believe in starting the day with mindfulness, often engaging in meditation and chanting during the early morning hours. This practice is believed to cultivate compassion and wisdom, setting a positive tone for the day. In Judaism, the shakirit, or morning prayer, is said upon waking and is considered a fundamental part of Jewish life. This prayer is an expression of gratitude and a way to connect with God at the start of the day. Despite the differences in rituals and beliefs, early morning prayer in these religions shares several common themes. It's a time of quiet reflection, a moment of solitude before the hustle and bustle of the day. It's a practice that nurtures discipline and commitment, qualities that are integral to spiritual growth. And above all, it's a way to connect with the divine to seek guidance and strength for the day ahead. Whether you're a Muslim performing the Fajr prayer, a Hindu meditating during the Brahma Muhurta, a Buddhist chanting in the early morning, or a Jew saying the Shacharit, the essence of early morning prayer remains the same. It's a universal practice that transcends religious boundaries, uniting us in our quest for spiritual growth. So regardless of your faith, consider embracing the practice of early morning prayer. As the sun rises, let your spirit rise too, connecting with the divine and setting a positive tone for the day. Remember the beauty of early morning prayer lies not just in the ritual itself, but in the peace, clarity and purpose it brings. Despite our diverse beliefs and practices, early morning prayer unites us in our quest for spiritual growth and enlightenment. The practice of early morning prayer has profound implications in our daily lives. This is not just a spiritual claim, but one backed by an increasing body of research that highlights the practical benefits of this age-old practice. Firstly, let's talk about focus. As the day breaks and the world around us begins to stir, our minds are at their most tranquil. This early morning tranquility is a fertile ground for prayer, facilitating an enhanced level of focus. When we begin our day with prayer, we set a tone of mindfulness that can permeate our thoughts and actions for the rest of the day, it's like setting the compass of our minds, directing our mental energy towards a path of clarity and purpose. Now let's consider productivity. 
It's no secret that our society is increasingly driven by the need to do more, to achieve more. But what if the key to unlocking our full potential lies not in doing more, but in starting earlier? When we rise before the sun, we're giving ourselves a head start. We're claiming a few precious hours of quiet solitude before the demands of the day set in. This time can be used for thoughtful prayer, reflection and planning, setting the stage for a more productive day. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, let's discuss mental health. In a world that often feels chaotic and overwhelming, the importance of mental well-being cannot be overstated. Early morning prayer offers a unique opportunity to cultivate mental resilience. The act of rising early, of setting aside time for prayer and reflection, is a form of self-care. It's a commitment to our own well-being, a promise to ourselves that we will prioritize peace and clarity over the noise of the world. This practice can foster a sense of calm and control, essential elements for maintaining good mental health. In essence, the benefits of early morning prayer extend far beyond the spiritual realm. It's a practice that can enhance our focus, boost our productivity, and improve our mental health. It's a daily investment in ourselves, a quiet rebellion against the chaos of the world. It's a commitment to peace, clarity and purpose, values that can guide us through the challenges of the day. So as the dawn breaks tomorrow, consider setting your alarm a little earlier. Embrace the quiet stillness of the early morning and allow yourself the luxury of time, time for prayer, reflection and self-care. Experience the magic of the early morning devotion and witness the transformative impact it can have on your daily life. In the stillness of the dawn, we not only find spiritual peace, but also practical benefits that enhance our daily lives. The power of routine cannot be underestimated when discussing early morning prayer. Now one might ask, why is routine so vital? Well, let's delve into that. Routine, in essence, is a sequence of actions that we regularly follow. It's a rhythm that we set for our lives. And just like a well-composed symphony, our routines can bring harmony and balance into our daily existence. When we apply this concept to our prayer life, it's like setting a divine metronome to our days. The rhythm of prayer, particularly early morning prayer, becomes a pulse that resonates through our waking hours. As we rise before the sun, we make a conscious decision to start our day in quiet reflection and connection with our Creator. This sacred act of devotion can become a source of comfort and stability, a cornerstone that grounds us in our faith. Imagine, if you will, a ship sailing in the vast ocean. The waves are unpredictable, sometimes calm, other times stormy. But there's one thing that remains constant for the ship, its compass. No matter the weather, the compass points the way. Similarly, our routine of early morning prayer becomes our spiritual compass, guiding us through the unpredictable seas of life. But creating a routine isn't just about repetition. It's about creating a sacred space for ourselves, a time that is set aside, untouched by the demands of the world. It's about consistency and commitment, yes, but it's also about creating a spiritual dwelling place within our day. This is not to say that establishing a routine is always easy. It can be challenging, particularly in the beginning. It may feel like an uphill battle, waking up while the world still sleeps, tearing ourselves away from the comfort of our beds. But remember, every great journey begins with a single step. And every morning, as we choose to rise and pray, we take that step. Moreover, routine has a transformative power. Over time, what once may have felt like a chore becomes a cherished part of our day. The early morning, once a time of sleep, becomes a time of peace and connection. Our routine of prayer becomes a lifeline, a thread that weaves itself into the fabric of our lives. And so we find that the power of routine is not just about doing the same thing over and over. It's about fostering a deep and meaningful relationship with our faith. It's about grounding ourselves in a spiritual practice that nourishes our souls and guides our steps. So as we journey through our days, let us remember the power of routine. Let us celebrate the rhythm of prayer that brings harmony to our lives. Let us cherish the early mornings as they become sacred spaces of connection and reflection. Through routine, our early morning prayers become a fixed beacon guiding us through the ebbs and flows of life. Many of us may find the idea of waking up early quite challenging, especially in the beginning, but don't worry, we've got you covered. Here are some practical tips to help you rise early and make the most of your mornings. First and foremost, 
establish a consistent sleep schedule. Our bodies thrive on routine. By going to bed and waking up at the same time every day, we train our bodies to follow a regular sleep pattern, making it easier to rise early. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. Adults typically need seven to nine hours of sleep per night. Adjust your bedtime accordingly to ensure that you're well rested and ready to start your day bright and early. Second, create a conducive sleep environment. This means a quiet, dark and cool room. Consider using earplugs or a white noise machine if you're sensitive to noise and invest in good quality curtains or a sleep mask to block out any light. The temperature of your room can also affect the quality of your sleep. The ideal temperature for most people is around 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius. Adjust your thermostat or use fans or heaters as necessary to reach this temperature. Third, use tools and apps to aid in waking up early. There are numerous apps available that can help you maintain a consistent sleep schedule, track your sleep, and even wake you up at the optimal time in your sleep cycle to ensure that you feel refreshed and ready to start your day. Lastly, prepare for your morning the night before. Lay out your clothes, prepare your breakfast, and have your prayer materials ready. By doing so, you reduce the friction that might otherwise make it difficult to get out of bed. Remember, it's all about making it as easy as possible for your morning self. By incorporating these practical tips into your routine, waking up for early morning prayer can become less of a struggle and more of a delightful habit. It may be challenging at first, but with consistency it will get easier. And the peace, clarity and connection that come with those quiet morning hours make the effort well worth it. So here's to embracing the discipline of rising early and experiencing the magic of the dawn. The impact of early morning prayer is best understood through personal testimonies. Imagine waking up at five in the morning when the world is still hushed and the air is fresh with the promise of a new day. This is the experience of Sarah, a nurse from London who started her journey with early morning prayers two years ago. She shares, I was always rushing, always stressed, but then I discovered the tranquility of those early hours, the magic of whispering my prayers in the quiet dawn. It's transformed my life. Across the pond, in the bustling city of New York, we find another story. Meet James, a Wall Street banker. In the world of high stakes and constant pressure, James found solace in the serenity of 5 a.m. prayers. He says, in the silence of the morning, I found a space to breathe, to reflect, to connect with something greater than myself. It gave me a sense of perspective that has made me more patient, more grounded. In the heart of Africa, in a small village in Kenya, there is Martha. A teacher by profession, Martha was initially skeptical about the idea of waking up at dawn for prayer, but she decided to give it a try. It was a struggle at first, she admits, but then I began to notice a change. I was more patient with my students, more present with my family. The tranquility of those early hours had seeped into the rest of my day. These are but a few stories among thousands, and each one echoes the same sentiment. The practice of early morning prayer has the potential to transform lives. It offers a moment of pause before the rush of the day, a chance to connect with one's innermost thoughts and feelings and an opportunity to seek guidance and peace in the quiet of the dawn. The transformative power of 5 a.m. prayer is not limited to any one profession, location or lifestyle. It's a universal experience accessible to anyone willing to embrace the discipline and serenity of those early hours. From the bustling streets of New York to the quiet corners of a Kenyan village, the magic of early morning prayer is being discovered and cherished. It's a journey of self-discovery, of finding peace amidst the chaos, of grounding oneself in the quiet moments before the sunrise. It's a practice that requires discipline, but rewards with clarity, peace, and a sense of connection that carries through the day. Whether you're a nurse in London, a banker in New York, or a teacher in Kenya, the magic of 5 a.m. prayer can touch your life. It's a universal journey, a shared experience that transcends borders and professions, bringing people closer to their own hearts and to the divine. These personal stories demonstrate the transformative power of early morning prayer. Embracing early morning prayer is a journey, not a destination. As we venture into the heart of this practice, we find ourselves on a path of continuous spiritual growth. It's a journey that doesn't have a finish line, but rather a series of meaningful milestones that shape us, mold us, 
and enrich our lives in ways we could never have anticipated. Imagine waking up before the break of dawn when the world is still hushed in slumber. The stillness of the early morning is a canvas, untouched and open, inviting you to paint the first strokes of your day with purpose and intent. This is the sacred hour of prayer, a time to connect with a power greater than ourselves, a time to seek guidance, wisdom and strength for the journey ahead. Every journey begins with a single step, and the practice of early morning prayer is no different. It's not about perfection, but persistence. It's not about how far you've come, but the courage to take the next step. It's about embracing the beauty of the process and the transformation that occurs along the way. The commitment to rise before the sun is a commitment to personal growth. It's a commitment to spiritual nourishment. It's a commitment to embracing the whispers of the dawn and the wisdom they hold. It's a commitment to starting each day with a heart full of gratitude, a mind full of peace, and a spirit full of resolve. This journey, like any other, may have its share of challenges. There will be days when the warmth of your bed seems far more inviting than the chill of the early morning. There will be days when the comfort of sleep feels more appealing than the discipline of prayer. But it's in these moments when we choose to rise anyway that we find our strength. It's in these moments when we choose to pray anyway that we find our faith deepening, our spirit strengthening, and our resolve hardening. Embrace the journey, for it is in the journey that we truly grow. Be patient with yourself, for growth is a process, not an event. Be consistent in your practice, for it is in the consistency that we find rhythm, and it's in the rhythm that we find peace. Remember, this journey is unique to each one of us. Your path may not look like someone else's, and that's okay. It's not about comparison but about becoming the best version of yourself. It's not about reaching a destination, but about embracing the journey with all its ups and downs, twists and turns, victories and lessons. Like the sun that faithfully rises each day, so too should our commitment to early morning prayer. As the dawn breaks and the world awakens, let us rise in prayer, in gratitude, in hope. Let us rise and shine, embracing the magic of the early morning and the journey that lies ahead. As the dawn breaks, we find ourselves at the end of our journey. Throughout this exploration, we've delved deep into the magic of early morning prayer, understanding its roots and significance and how it can be applied practically in our lives. We took a step back in time, tracing the historical context of early morning devotion. From the ancient Christian monks who rose before dawn to the modern day believers who carry this tradition forward, the practice of early morning prayer has been a cornerstone in the life of the faithful. We then ventured into the spiritual depths of this sacred ritual, appreciating its profound significance. Early morning prayer, as we've seen, is more than just a routine. It's a time of communion with the divine, a moment of peace before the world awakens, a beacon of hope that lights our path for the day ahead. As we moved forward, we explored the practical applications of this age-old practice. We discovered how it shapes our daily routine, instills a sense of discipline, and sets the tone for the rest of our day. It's not just about waking up early, it's about waking up to a world of possibilities fueled by the power of prayer, and we've heard from those who've experienced this magic firsthand. Their testimony served as a testament to the transformative power of early morning devotion, painting vivid pictures of personal growth, spiritual enrichment, and a renewed sense of purpose. As we wrap up our journey, let's embrace the beauty and power of early morning prayer. Let's make it a part of our lives, a thread that weaves the fabric of our days, a melody that sets the rhythm of our hearts. Before we part, dear friends, remember to hit the subscribe button to continue this spiritual journey with us. Until next time, rise and shine with the magic of 5 a.m. motivation.